Hello, and welcome to this Panel Pilot Ace tutorial using Modbus. For this tutorial, we are going to create a digital thermostat that will control the temperature. This program will use a slave function using Modbus to receive and transmit the data from the Panel Pilot Ace to the system that controls the temperature. Part of the program will control the temperature of the heat, and the other part will control the temperature of the air conditioner. To begin this tutorial, we are first going to need to start a new project. To do so, go to File and New Project. We're going to name this Modbus Demo. The device model is going to be the 70-A. Select OK. To begin this tutorial, we are first going to need to create a gray gradient background. To do so, add a rectangle to the project. The dimensions of this rectangle are going to be 1024 by 600. Right click on the rectangle and go to add gradient fill. For this project, we're going to use linear gradient. Delete the first rectangle and for this new gradient rectangle, change the position to 0, 0. So that way is equally on the screen. For the color, we're going to change the orange to a light gray. So select black and select a light gray. Select OK. The white is going to be changed to a little darker gray. Select OK. Next, we're going to add a title to our screen. Add a text box and change the text for this to Modbus example. We are going to change the font size of this to 50. And click and drag the edges of the box to fit the entire text. This text box is going to be centered at the top of the screen. So right click, and go to the line elements and select align horizontally center and right click again and go to align elements and line to the top. This is complete. Next we're going to create the text box that will display the actual temperature that will change based on the room temperature that is controlled with either the heating or cooling functions. To do so, add another text box to the screen. The font size for this is going to be 250. The text for this is going to be 70, and this is just going to be a placeholder. Because the text is too large for the actual text box, click and drag it so that way it fits the actual number. We are going to name this visual element Actual Temp. Right click and select Align Elements and Align to the center. Next, we will need to add arrows that will control either the heating or cooling system. You can download blue and red arrows from Panel Pilot Ace University found on LASCAR Electronics website. You will need an up and down arrow for both the heating and cooling system. So go to Image and add it to the project. In Source, select Add and Browse. And I'm going to add a red arrow. I'll do it again, select browse, a blue up arrow, select OK. Do it again for down arrows. We are going to name the red up arrow heat button up. The red down arrow is going to be heat button down. The blue up arrow is going to be blue button up blue down arrow is going to be blue button 
down. Select all four arrows. The dimensions for all four are going to be 100 by 100. And then you can put them on the screen where you would like them. Next, we will need to create two text boxes that will be used as the temperature that you can change with the arrows for the heating or cooling systems. So add a text box and put that over next to the red arrows and change that to 77. That is just gonna be a placeholder for right now. The text alignment is gonna be in the center and the pixel size for this is going to be 40. Make it bold. We're going to name this heat temp. Copy and paste it. So that way is the same thing for the blue arrows. Change the text for this to 65, just as a placeholder again, and change the name for this to be cool temp. This is complete. We are going to add text boxes just for labeling the heating and cooling systems. For this one, make a heating, center it, and bold it and place it over the heating system. Copy and paste it and change the text to cooling and place it over the cooling system. Now all the visual elements are completed. Next we are going to add the function and hardware elements to complete this project. The first function element we are going to need is a math builder. The math builders will allow the user to increase and decrease the heating and cooling settings by one. Since we have two up arrows and two down arrows, overall we are going to need to add four math builders. Add four math builders to the project. We're going to name the first math builder, math builder heat up. In the expression section for this math builder, we are going to add three values. So select add three times. The first value is going to be the element heat temp. So add heat temp. And the property for this element is going to be text. The second value is going to be a plus. And the third value is going to be the number one. This math builder increases the heat temp text by one. We are going to then do the same thing for the down heat arrow, except instead of a plus, it was, will be a minus. We will do that now. So select a math builder and then change the name to math builder heat down and add three values. First value is also gonna be the heat text. So heat temp text. Second value is going to be a minus and the third value is going to be one. We are then going to do the same thing for the blue arrows. So select another math builder and name this cool up. Add three values. For the first value instead of being the heat temp is going to be cool temp and that is also going to be text. The second value is going to be a plus, and the third value is going to be a one. Do the same thing for the third one. This is going to be math builder cool down. Add three values. The element is going to be cool temp, and the property is going to be text. Make the second value a minus and the third value a one. Next, we will add a hardware element called analog input to the project. If you scroll down the library, add analog input from the hardware integration section. This analog input can be tied to a temperature sensor to update the screen with the current temperature. To make the temperature change though, we need to have a digital display. 
which is in the function elements section. So go to the function elements and add digital display. In the analog input element will be the analog input we just created. For the voltage scaling is going to map from zero volts to negative 32 degrees. And 10 volts to 155. Next, the text element used is going to be the actual temp. Now when we preview it in the emulator, like this, we can change the actual temp using the analog input. But as you can see, we need to change the size of the box so it fits the numbers. So go here. make it a little larger, and align elements align to the center again. Preview an emulator again. We don't want any decimals, so go to the digital display and select decimal places to zero. Again, hit the emulator and watch as the numbers change. The next step for this project is to create project variables. Right click project variables and select number variable. Add two more number variables. The first one is going to be number variable heat with a variable value of 80. And the second will be number variable cool with a variable value of 66. And then regular number variable as zero. We are going to need to add another variable called modbus map variable. So right click again and add modbus map variable. This will contain data that can be pulled from the master device. Throughout the project, we will update these variables so the master device will always have the latest information. When you scroll down in the properties editor, there is a section called holding register map. In this section, we are going to add four values. They are going to be numbered from zero to six. In the variable section, double click in the box for the first variable. Add the number variable to the project variable section. Select OK. For the next value, select the element property as screen, element to analog input, and property to voltage. Select OK. The third value is going to be number variable cool, and the fourth one is going to be number variable heat. Select OK. The next step is to create logic actions for each of the arrows so that when they are pushed, they will get the information from their corresponding math builder and then change the text on the screen. We will need to add four action set rule function elements to the project. The first one will be called logic actions heat up. This action will correspond with the heat up arrow like the name suggests. We will then add two set expression values. The first value in the variable section will be the project variable number variable heat. Select OK. In the value section, in the element property section, the element is going to be math builder heat up. So, so scroll down and select math builder heat up. The property is going to be integer value. Select OK. The second variable in the set expression will be heat temp. Select heat temp and the property is going to be text. Select OK. Its corresponding value will be the project variable number variable heat. Select OK. The second logic action will be called logic action heat down. Add two more set expressions. 
The first value in the variable section will be the project variable number variable heat again. Select OK. The value in the element property section is going to be math builder heat down. And the property is going to be integer. Select OK. The second variable is going to be heat temp in the element property with a property of text. The value is going to be the number variable heat. Select OK. The third logic action will be called logic action cool up. Add two more set expressions. The first value in the variable section will be the project variable number variable cool. Select OK. The value is going to be math builder cool up. And the property is going to be integer value. Select OK. The second variable is going to be cool temp with a property of text. Select OK. And then the second value is going to be number variable cool. The fourth logic action is going to be called logic action cool down. Add two values again. The first variable is going to be number variable cool. Select OK. The first value is going to be math builder cool down with a property of integer value. The second variable is going to be cool temp with a property of text. Its second value is going to be number variable cool. Select OK. Now we're going to move on to making the arrows buttons. To do so, we're going to need to add four buttons from the function elements section to the project. So add four buttons. The first button will be called heat button up. The visual element for this button is going to be heat button up. In the on clicked perform section, we are going to select logic actions heat up. This means when the up arrow is clicked, it will perform the logic action selected. The second button will be called heat button down. The visual element is going to be heat button down and on clicked it is going to be perform logic action heat down. The third button is going to be called cool button up. The visual element is going to be blue button up. On clicked perform it's going to perform logic actions cool up. The fourth button is going to be called cool button down. The visual element is going to be cool button down and on click to perform logic actions cool down. All the buttons are now complete. We are now going to add one more logic action which is the action set rule to this project. So add action set rule. This is going to populate the screen values once the device turns on. This logic action is going to be logic actions load screen. The first value in the variable section is going to be actual temp. Select actual temp and property as text. The corresponding value is going to be number variable. Select OK. Add one more set expressions. This second variable 
is going to be called cool temp. with the property of text. And the value is going to be number variable cool. We're going to need to do the same thing with the heat temp. So add element property heat temp as text. And the value is going to be number variable heat. This element is now complete. The next function element we need to add is a property trigger. So go to function and add property trigger. This is going to be called property trigger load screen. So load screen. The element for this is going to be screen and the property is going to be completed. This value is going to be logic actions load screen. This is now complete. The last step for this project is to add serial RS485 COM port to the project. The only things we are going to change in its properties editor is the protocol, which is going to be changed to Modbus, and its mode is going to be slave. The mapping variable is going to be the mapping variable we created previously. All the other settings are correct. This project is now complete. If you preview the project in emulator, would you click F5 to do so? You can click on the different arrows to change the values and change the input to the actual temperature. Just like this. Thank you for watching this Panel Pilot Ace tutorial.